Hi guys, so during our um, VTS last week, our visual thinking systems, where we looked up the images on the screen um, and then thought about what we saw and how they made us feel, um, we looked over one of William H. Johnson's um, paintings. So he was a famous artist during the Harlem Renaissance, which was the art period we looked into where um, ex-slaves from the south were moving up to the north as free people um, to pursue a new job opportunity. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to um, look at one of William H. Painting, William H.'s paintings. And um, you guys are going to have the option between a couple different um, paintings of his to choose which one you would prefer to draw. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a nice uh, blank piece of white paper and we're going to go in and we're going to draw um, the painting that we have selected. For my students in class, um, we are going to be using cut paper to glue on to the drawings that we've created so that we can um, put in color using a different method and it's going to hopefully give us a pretty good likeness to William H's drawings. So when you're doing the drawing, you basically just want to focus on the shape that you're seeing in front of you. Look at what is close to the previous shape that you've just drawn, um, and that's going to really help you put down some of these details. A lot of uh, William H's, uh, William H. Johnson's paintings um, are all about shapes. So if you're going in just looking at the various shapes that you see, um, you're going to do a pretty good job at just drawing in um, those little guidelines for where you're going to do cut paper. For my students at home, you obviously can work with what you have. Um, here at home today, I don't have any um, cut paper, I don't have any uh, colored paper. So I'm just going to be using a combination of colors I have from um, cereal boxes and chip packets and whatnot in the pantry. And then I'm going to also just paint little pieces of paper and stick them down. Um, if you would rather just color it in, that's totally fine with me. Um, it's up to you. Dreams that you dream of, dreams really do 
Where 